my. <laughs> yeah, he certainly blew his load. Oh, God. <laughs> This is the Tios, and welcome back to Let's Play Guns Unto the Lost Age. I have with me Magafium239, and I have with us the usual Knucklehead Tori. <laughs> oh my god, you're adorable. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, you're worse than him. <laughs> braggy, braggy. <laughs> In the last episode, we dealt with treasure. With, with treasure. Something? Yes. Where, Something. where we had to deal with a, ma a weird magician. With his, uh... <laughs> Blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> And here, in this episode, we are tackling another side quest. A really, really, really long hallway. And so begins the hallway. The endless 40-hour hallway. You have not known pain until you have seen the hallway, for there is no escape. But it's the final hallway. The final hallway 13? Oh no. Yeah, I guess so. Oh my god. The hallway is evil. No free will. The only way is the way forward. The dread of inevitability. The shackles of fate. The struggle is real. Yeah. Oh, ooh, a, mo a moving statue. Uh, it's never a good sign that moving statues are involved. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, oh, it, oh, it's an angel, no less. Great. Just great. Oh, hello. What is this? Yep. That happens, too. Oh! A Mercury Pokemon! It's the music, too. Oh. How do we catch it? We kill it. No! I apologize for the noise in the background on my end. I think we have worse noise because sometimes there's interruptions on our end. Uh, yeah, that's not good fair. Yeah. We can that's what that's what ed, ed editing is for. Yep. Ed ed and editing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I stuttered and then I had to make it into a joke. Well, I say well played. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I cope in life. I turn my mistakes into not mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, did you catch it? Oh, you gotta catch them all. Yeah. No, anyone? Anyone see that like Pokemon? I mean, um, let's go Pikachu or let's go Eevee thing? Oh no, I haven't. Is it cute? No, like, there was a trailer for it. Apparently, it's, it's not really a core game, but it's more like a... How do I explain this? Um, apparently, um... Dang it, I think, Tori, think! <laughs> apparently, 
apparently it's uh, our Game Freak basically made a Pokemon Go version of a Pokemon game. Oh, but right. It, but apparently it's not a port game, so. Oh, okay. And it's gonna be on the Switch. Oh, right, I heard about that. Uh, people were salty because yeah. it's so casual, but eh. Well, I guess it's mixed reception, so. Yeah. That thing tends to happen, you know. Yeah, you know, they go where the money is. Well, it makes, apparently it's something that ties everyone over until they get their new game done. So. Yeah. That's probably why they're doing it. Yeah, to distract the people. Well, just give them something while we're working on something else. Yeah. I am wondering what the next region for Pokemon game is going to be. That's my question. Um, not just a region, but like... I, I, we all know that the whole trainer customization thing has been well received, especially with the outfits and hairstyles and stuff. Oh yeah, I, I love that. that. That was my favorite, that's my favorite part about the movie games. Although, wait, in my opinion, I think I preferred, um, X and Y over, um, over Sun and Moon, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Reason being the, um, how do I say this, um, it wasn't so story heavy like, um, yeah, like it is, and that was it was kind of a drag to get through it in my opinion. Plus, it kind of reminded me of Celestia and Luna. Oh, it's you. Oh, oh shit! Fuck! You said nothing bad would happen. To Nigel. you, Nigel. Yeah, it was kind of like that. I do like the fact that they. Made the, the characters don't look so cheesy like, you know, in Sun and Moon. That's what I like about it at least, because they at least they look like they're their actual size, you know, the, the trainers. Maybe ne but all the game freak, ne when you make your new core game, Pokemon game, you need to at least give the trainer some expression. Because it was, it was kind of jarring to see your trainer smiling when this huge disaster is happening right in front of them. Yeah, like, it's kind of like how in, like, Bethesda games, like, the faces kind of look right, but not really, and it's creepy. Or, like, I Mass am, Effect. I am suddenly reminded. We are diving deeper into darkness. Okay. Deeper into the hole. Our choices preordained by programmers. Our existence meaningless without choices of our own. The only way is forward. The path laid out for us. The choice is already made. Oh my god. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I'm going there. <laughs> well, he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Okay, here we are. This is where I have to save. Yes, because of what's coming up. And I better, uh, instantly put, uh, three Jupiter and Mercury on standby instantly. Oh no. Yeah. Because this boss isn't playing around. Oh man. Things are gonna get real. No more blue balls? <laughs> no. no. We are no. dealing with the true dick. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Not too late. No, Sentinel. Sorry, sorry. Why are you getting this stuff? I did this <laughs> last time. I did this in the last part. <laughs> <laughs> We love you anyway. Okay. <laughs> Which should have the counterattack? Reflux? What is this? Acid reflux? Do they need some tums? <laughs> no. He's likely to get hit first. Or get hit, at least. Mm. Likely. I don't know. Whichever one has highest HP? I just said A. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Now because, this like, guy, the, now this boss the, is immune uh, to synergy in general, the powers. Oh, but boss. not summons. But not summons. Ironically. Yeah. 
See, he's an absolute prick. Oh my. Yeah, got that right. And he recovers 200 HP per turn. Oh shit. Okay, that's awful. So the best thing I can do is use the spell break to lower his defenses. Because at this point, it's all he can really do at this point. Uh, you know, as, as far as his turn goes. Yeah, damn. And Sentinel's agility drops by 86. I'm glad I used Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he certainly blew his load. Oh, God. <laughs> you too, babe. You too. What? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You can, uh, I, I, you're learning. You're learning from me, sweetie. And Kyrie's dead. No! No! In a different playthrough, didn't we name her Thought? Yes. <laughs> Uh, it was so mean of us, but it was so funny. Well, if you saw what we did on our second run through the, or the first game, because of what happened to mess up. Oh god. It does kind of make sense. Oh man. Is she romancing everybody? Is that what she's doing? No! We're incest. It? <laughs> Fuck! Why? <laughs> God! <laughs> Jesus! Ew! Well, apparently it was incest for older brothers. Ew! Like, literally, literally the human for older brother. That was what it was. He they, did not reciprocate. Ew. If they were adopted, it would still be gross. Never mind. Ugh. I'm not gonna even comment. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Gross. But that was just what happened in that. That's... Ugh. Hey, I can make some pretty dang stuff too. <laughs> You're not the only. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think I blew my load in the last episode. I'm tired. I can't think of anything funny now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was totally worth it. <laughs> 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 it was the best. Oh god. 
I just wasted that for the oh. sake of wasting it. Why? Spark plasma, oh my. That's very messy. Very messy spell. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, you might... One of the things in these games is, like, you want to use, um... You seem to look... Um, you definitely want to use, like, all, you know, abilities that will heal everyone, like, synergy-wise. Oh! Yeah. I, in like, I'll always have one healer, so, like, one person's gonna be healing every, at the end, at every turn, basically. That's my strategy, at least. That's a good strategy. If it looks like you don't need to heal that turn, don't do it. Mm. That's just, again, my general strategy. Yeah. Like, if you don't need to heal, then just cast other buffs or something. Or use Jin. Yeah. Like, for this, you know, like, like, for Felix's group, just Gen his party at least, Jenna is, like, the designated healer, because she's the one that gets the healing stuff, and he's second healer, while Mia's the main healer in Isaac's group, while Isaac's the secondary healer. Hmm. Cool. That's their kind of roles, though, how they all like, so... Alrighty. Now to blow another load. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yep. I like how it just makes like that ripping sound. <laughs> I think it's funny. It's like it's just this funny sound. It's like it's not what you expect, like a Oh, your jump bench was cut. Yeah. I'm gonna be summoning Thor for this one. Ooh, I forget what Thor looks like. I, I haven't seen it in a bit. How in like in this go? game. Look, he, he looks very, um, very difficult. You know? Whoa! Hello! Told you. Yes, bitchin'! Kill it, kill it, kill it. Murder. Murder the robot thing. I fought this game in hard mode once. It was super hard. When Rock I, hard even? No, when I was facing this very <laughs> boss, I had no synergy oh, for man. all the party members. Is synergy a game mechanic? Yes, it's the power, yeah, see? It's like your magic point. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't... They seem to have a lot of different vocabulary in this game that I'm not used to. I know, right? Yeah, they changed the names of everything. Like, synergy is magic, basically. Okay. That is good to know. Summon Boris. Or Boreas, or whatever. Whoa. A giant ice machine. Yeah, make him a snow cone. Or slushy. That's pretty good. 
Slushies are good. Like, I never really got on board with that, but that's probably just because I like smoothies more. Are smoothie slushies? Are slushy smoothies? Like, no. No, there's a difference. It seems like a slushie is just like a soda version of a smoothie. Well, it's more like a flavor is added. A smoothie is more like it's made from actual fruit and such as involved. Oh, yeah. Although they add ice yeah. cream into a lot of the ones from like Jamba Juice and stuff. I used to, when I, back when I was in um, I was Gold Stone, I used to make smoothies a lot. Ooh. Wait, what's the difference between a smoothie and a milkshake? Is it just that milkshakes? A milkshake has basically like a like a shake mix into it. It's kind of like a, it's like thick milk almost, um, and you put ice cream in it. Oh, okay. And so and, with a smoothie, it's more like fruit based. And for a um, smoothie, you basically mix some fruits, some like juice in there goes in it, and some ice. Oh, okay. Cool. So if I, I guess if you put ice cream in there, it's more like sherbet and not actually ice cream. No, I guess. And that's definitely one way to phrase it. Judgment. Oh, fuck. Behold the power of the apocalypse. This one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, you know what makes me think of um, that song guys of the Son of Bridge series, which he stopped doing after the first one. It's a shame he never got around to doing the second one. I guess they just left. Yeah, I keep thinking of the guys, um, um, a bridge, um, the whole of bridge series where it had to do with Moompa. How they got in and the gate. Because the gate's always locked there in the first game. And you have to sneak in. He will have to show you that a bridge series, it is funny. That does sound interesting. Wait, is it a uh, Full Metal Alchemist or no, something? Go, go no, Gold no, Sun. Oh. Full Metal Alchemist bridge series. Wait, they make a bridge series for games too? People do- oh, yes! I thought it was just for anime. Anything, you think a bridge series on anything. Like, I've seen someone do like a bridge series on Lord of the Rings, and I'm talking about the Peter Jackson movies. Oh god, I love those. I love the movies. They're so good. The books are better, but I like the, I like the movie series, the books are better. I don't like, well, I like the books too, but I just, I don't like how much unnecessary junk there is in there. Like, all the songs and all the Tom Bombadils, which does exactly nothing and Actually, stuff. Actually, it did help him because, for one thing, um, Frodo's, and his, you know, his group's trip to Bree was a lot longer than what the movie said. For one thing... They got, like, the times wrong, Loki. like, like, in the book, it took them a few years for Gandalf to come back and tell Frodo, oh, hey, you have the one ring. You might want to get out. In the movie, it just seems like, oh, it's a few days later. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not that it didn't do anything from a plot point of view, it's just that it was kind of boring, and I didn't like it. But you gotta realize, it ha he had to discover stuff on his own, and... Frodo in the books was pretty brave, especially when it came to the Flight of the Fords. Like, instead of just Ar- it's not Arwen that came, it was, um, Glorvindel. Who came, and then the thing is, Glorvindel stayed behind, um, ended up, um, the Ringers were closing in on them, and Glorvindel got off the forest and stayed there while Frodo kept going on. He got to the fort, and basically, he raped, even though he is wounded, and he is, you know, in bad shape, right? He- has the audacity to take out his sword, and he's basically saying, you will have neither me or the ring. He makes a brave stand, and then Elrond summons, um, uses his magic to summon the water. I don't remember... I haven't read the books in a while, either. Actually, I haven't seen the books or the movies in a while. I just remember the big, awesome parts of the movies. The cinematic, fancy ones. Yeah, but it was a big deal, just as you, as you might have guessed. Yeah, I just, I don't remember his all. But, like, what I like about the book, at least for the two towers, they copy, basically, rabbit stew, that chapter. And as it implies, there's, that they kept that scene in the movie. They kept that part in the movie, which was nice, because they copy. Because I loved how they kept that in the movie, because, you know, the whole rabbit. 
Yeah. And there was a lot more uh, concerning the eggs, too. Which were awesome. Oh, yeah, I remember like, that part. Like, the Council of the Ents, where it takes, like, hours to say a single sentence. Yeah, but the thing is, there was more to it in the book than just that. Like, there was actually one younger Ent that was, as, as, as you know how cheap it says, don't be hasty. Well, the thing is, uh, um, us being, to them, being hasty for them is us normal, our normal rate of going at things, right? Well, there was an younger end that was basically had the same, you know, um, I was like, concept of time as we did, so basically he would have been considered hasty among the rest of the ends. I remember that one, like, he was so excited that it, uh, that they could easily understand what he was saying or something like that. It's oh, been yeah, a while. He laughed at, I remember him, like, he laughed at everything, despite Aww. how small it was. Oh. I forgot his name, though. Well, they have really long names. I mean, no, just like whatever simplified name they have in our language, basically. Yeah, I think he was a minor character, so it makes sense not to remember. But, like, but I remember that thing, though. That's the funny thing, is I remember that. And then the Tales of the Entwives, too. Oh, I remember the word Entwives. I just don't remember... What, what it was about? The Entwives were the female Ents. Where did they go? I forget. No one knows. Ew. That's the thing. No How did they reproduce then? That's why it was such a big deal. Like, you know, um, basically, Treebeard was telling Mary and Pippin about the Entwives, and, like, they asked what happened to them. Like, we don't know. And they had, like, theories like they went in the direction of the Shire or something. Like, oh, it made me that, like, they were part of, you know, they, you know, they settled down where the old forest is, where Tom Bombadil was. Oh! That was one theory. And the thing is, Tom Bombadil's nature is unknown, like, what he truly is. No one knows what he really is. Well, a lot of people think that he's, like, a physical manifestation of Eru, um, Eru Lubitar, who is the god who created, um, Middle-earth, or Arda, in the, um, Elvish language. Because he was because he was not affected by the ring, for one thing, and he was able to make it disappear. Yay! That's one of the reasons I'm Lucky. Him, is he, he, he solves Lucky. all the problems. Oh he, god! He is dead finally. Yay, death! And Riku was able to revive himself. Yay! <laughs> okay. Once we I. I love how we were just talking about Lord of the Rings where we say Tolkien material. <laughs> and for the rewards for killing the Sentinel are. Catastrophe! Badass. In order to summon him, we have to. We have to spend five Jupiter and three Mars. It's quite ridiculous, really. And overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> One. Everyone missed it. Oh well. Two. That's fine. I'm sorry, I'm tired. The audience will get it. The audience will probably One, get two, it. Three, four, and five. There we go. I will show you the world. Well I will show you the world. Oh my god! Shining Stop it! Why? You like it when I sing normally. Was it because now I was watch. being bad on purpose? No. Oh, what? Holy it's, balls, it's the angel of death. It's judgment gone corrupted. Exactly. Balls. You say that, and it makes me think of, um... <laughs> <laughs> Fable 3. You didn't think of balls because she's Fable 3. I... I heard of that game, but I don't know what that is. Um, it's funny because like Walter from Fable Three is voiced by the guy who does, who um, plays Theoden in um, Lord of the Rings. Nice. Which made it even better. That made it like tons better because it was him. Yeah. Okay. After this, 
Oh, it's the baby turtle. Oh, yes. I love the baby turtle. I love the turtles. Okay, they're so cute. One of my professors had a tortoise, and I was like, oh god, I want a tortoise, because it just roamed free all over her yard. And it was so cute. I don't know why it was cute, because it looked like a walking boulder, but it was so cute. That made me remember, like, when I was driving home one time from work, um, I encountered this turtle. <gasps> and I just stopped my car and had to take a picture of it. Oh, Did you take a picture? It was pretty cool. I took a picture of it. Yeah. I put it on Sims, but was, like, the thing is, I got close to it and it kind of hid in the shell. So. Aww. Yeah, that's what they do. Poor things. Yeah, they do that. I know, right? Now if we return to Contigo here, and sell the junk from the previous adventures, Yay! And side quests. Yay! We'll have plenty yes. of space. Floating Yay. hat. What, what? What does that do? I, I don't remember, and I don't really care. That guy Aww. had a very high squeaky voice. Yeah. That wasn't a guy. Wait. I could have sworn that there was like one like I don't know if it was like an armor salesman and like he has like. It's, it's this manly guy, he has this, like, high squeaky voice, like, the little sound of thing. So I'm not the only one who has trouble telling the genders? Well, the thing is, like, if you listen to, like, the voices, it has, it has like, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you can tell, like, if they're, like, a little kid, they have, like, a really high-pitched, um, like, a little sound that comes out when they talk. Yeah. I like how they did that, like, in the game, because it gives you an idea of, like, how they like their pitch might sound like. Yeah. But even so, it's it's funny when you see like you got this one of the, the armor sellers and they have like this high pitch with like it's a female quiz, why do you give them that? It's cute. Anyway guys, this has been the Tios! In the next episode, we will tackle the final side quest. The Animos in a sanctum! Where the last of Deadbeard's friends resides. It would be dangerous. Oh no! He is the most dangerous of the four. Dullahan! If you guys like my content, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go, go on, babe. Go on! Also, Go on PayPal and check out McGuffey's books. Do it. Please. Oh, and if you like... Uh, <laughs> and if you like uh, <laughs> Knucklehead Tori's channel... If you like Knucklehead Tori's channel, go to her channel and do it. And look at her content. Yeah, like, I don't really post stuff a lot. Do it anyway. Go visit her channel anyway. Okay. Anyways. Later! <laughs>